The following tape and many others were recorded by FBI intern Valerie Bardo and given to us. Leaving without a trace, she suddenly went missing at the end of her internship in Lancaster, California. Foul play is suspected. So long as Valerie is missing, these tapes will continue to be leaked. We gave you a chance and this will be your last. So the status is resolved. The entity is present. Case type missing persons clearance TS 1988. And the purpose of the film is to debrief. Previously inhabited by both Dakota and Ojibwe, oh my god, Oj Ojibwe tribes, it is now home to year-round camper and hikers. The park, along with other state parks up north, has experienced an increase in animal-like attacks. The cause was unknown until found footage of missing persons Brady Kauf Oh, hopefully you guys read it. <laughs> On August 25th, Brady Kaufman, a 15 year old male, visited O'Brien State Park un unaccompanied. The subject's behavior during his visit was unusual, as he intermittently started recording at various times, medical records revealed no history of mental health concerns. Subsequently, on August 26th, the, the subject was reported as missing. His body was discovered on August 30th, and the recovered footage from his recording device will now be presented in chronological order, accompanied by annotations. So... Okay. So we are looking at Mr. Kaufman's video? Ooh, VHS style. Cool. What's this? The subject initiated recording. The reason for their sudden recording activity remains unknown. Can I go in here? No. We have a nice little campfire. Oh, we have a hatchet? Okay. The subject would occasionally zoom on certain... Oh, we can zoom! Also on certain objects, okay. Wait, we have a recording? Where are we re That's like a tape recorder. Okay. And here's our car. Interesting. Can we leave? The subject turned right and went to the bathroom to shower. Okay. Can we run? We cannot run. Why are we by ourselves in the woods? I don't get that. Hmm. Oh, wait. Is it, I guess many people are here. A truck there and a is that a porta pot porta potty? How come we don't have porta potty? We picked a bad location. I see there's another fire over here too, right? Oh my god! Wait, who's the person that shut off the alarm? Okay. So we're not by ourselves. I think over here is another, yeah, here's another car with camping stuff. This is nice to know we're not by ourselves. Are they all taking showers too or something because they're not in there? In their respective areas? Oh, that must be the location over there. I swear, like, I feel like, like something's going to pop up. Okay, so that's the la ladies' maid. I guess we're going here. Yeah, that was kind of bright. Thank you. Why are the lights going on and off? Oh yeah, there must be other people here, for sure. Yeah, cause it's all yeah. They're showering. Okay, so there's other people. It's not that scary. The subject stops filming, then takes a shower. It is estimated ten minutes elapsed before the subject films again. The su Whoa, what, what? Oh, here we are. Go so quickly. Oh, hopefully you guys can read whatever it says. Yeah, everybody left. Except for this random person using the potty. Wow, so... 
It's very peaceful. It's a nice night. But we're so slow. Wait, can we go to these people's campsites? Nope, I cannot go to that one. Here's a suspicious one. What was that? I like vaguely heard something. Here's another one. Wait, is this ours? It is ours. Okay, why can't we do that shortcut? Um, who is that? Why is this random guy here? What? Why does... <laughs> On return to the campsite, an unknown figure stands near the subject's tent. Neither campground records nor witnesses recall seeing a white male of this profile. Uh, this person was here or who they are still remains unknown, but it is not being actively pursued. Okay. The largest jump of times happens at this point with an estimate, uh, estimated time of 1-2 hours. The recording resumed with the subject 2 miles in the Hardwood Hills loop. Why the subject started the hike is not relevant to the Bureau's involvement. Shouldn't it be, though? Like, why are we 2 hours? Are we going down or, I guess, downward? 2 hours? And in some kind of hike? And we still can't run. What a beautiful moon. Got kind of quiet. It's kind of weird. Like a moose or a deer? Some elk? Yeah, I'm, I don't go camping, so I'm not sure what that could be. Maybe like a deer or elk or something. Where are we going? Oh my god. What frightened him? That is the question. Why is he running away? And where are we going? Like I was trying to say before we got rudely interrupted. I hear water. Oh, river. Okay. That was like a demon elk. A demon deer. Uh-uh. That was not normal. Wait, did it get killed? Is that the sound of that animal dying? Oh, he went this way. Why are we going this way then? <gasps> it did die! No! The deceased deer was killed by entity. Oh no, poor deer. Whoa! Subject encountered deceased, deceased deer attacked by entity. The film abruptly ends after subject detects entity in vicinity. Subject exhibits distress and flees off trail. Entity pursues subject and can be heard in proximity. Subject resumes filming approximately four minutes after pause. This marks the final pause. Are we running now? The subject is audible for the first time displaying emotions of fear. Where is the trail? The subject begins running. Oh yes, we can finally run. Do we have a stamina bar? Sounds like a, a velociraptor <laughs> of some sort. Oh. Oh no.
<gasps> There's like various various entities. Oh no. Damn it. Can we not go that way? It's to my right. It's getting super close. Oh, I'm dead. I hear it. <laughs> the subject struggles against entity but gets away. The camera is severely damaged. Oh, Lord. <laughs> subject drops flashlight and camera creates a shadow backdrop. <laughs> Jesus. I knew it was like some elf-like thing. Brad Brady Kaufman's death would occur over the next five minutes. The remaining footage has been cut short for viewer discretion. Additional entities can be heard and would later fight over the remains. The footage ends when the camera battery runs out. Yeah, I don't want to see that. Subject remains were found scattered. Most flesh was consumed. Little personal items remain intact. The public was told it was an abnormal bear attack. Of course. Oof. Tibia found 0.5 miles away. That is crazy. The subject's film was the first footage captured of S0012. Ultimately, the subject's footage provided the Bureau proved to extend funding in special operations to contain entities. This case marks the first of many successful entity resolution programs. I would just say to the dev that the Bureau is spelled incorrectly. And, oh, it's a Wendigo. I should have figured that. Because it has like deer and like bony looking things. Wendigos are creatures originating from Native American tribes of the Great Lakes region. The malevolent supernatural beings bring terror to forest dwellers and are linked to numerous missing persons cases. Tall and emaciated looking Wendigos bear antlers and possess an insatiable appetite for human flesh. According to recent intelligence, there has been a notable resurgence of the Wendigo and their geographical distribution has now expanded southward towards Minneapolis. In response to this emerging threat, their beer, oh, not spelled correctly there, has established a joint task force in collaboration with the CSIS to take immediate and decisive action to halt the expansion of the species and eventual eradication. It is imperative to maintain strict operational security and keep the general public uninformed of these operations to prevent any unnecessary panic or interference. That's a lot of reading. <laughs> but it was really good. That was a great, great game. Very informative. And an intro to the Wendigo. The story doesn't end here. Ooh.